Today, I will present uh, this new solution that Brooker developed to speed up the process of uh, materials uh, development, specifically for uh, brake applications. We have a tool that can not only speed up the process, but can monitor um, uh, parameters that are not easy to, to precisely monitor in the big dynamometer. And additionally, uh, you have benefits like, for example, you can collect the dust in a very easy manner and you can analyze what are the debris or the material that is coming uh, as a byproduct of the, of the testing. We feel that this uh, uh, tool is not going to replace the dynamometer. Of course, it's not going to replace the test that has to be performed in the real aut automobile, but it's going to help to speed up that process as a complementary um, instrument. We are able to go and simulate real conditions of uh, stopping or braking for automotive applications. Uh, manufacture these little parts without the need to go to the final shape or volume. And uh, in that way, we can speed up the development cycle. When all the setup is, is made and uh, you place the samples that are the candidates to serve the purposes of a break materials, we have here the software that has uh, programmed every single step in terms of deceleration, uh, pressure that you want to apply, or force that uh, expressing in pressure, and monitor the temperature and the torque that you are uh, 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 obtaining during the, during the test. Uh, for example, in this specific case, we have some of the steps of the SAEJ2522, uh, known as a AKS Master, that is one of the standards in the industry to measure the effectiveness of the materials. And uh, I will simulate one of the deceleration uh, steps that basically uh, simulates the automobile going from 80 kilometers per hour all the way to 30 kilometers per hour in a certain period of time. Here, after getting the full speed of the rotor, simulating 80 kilometers per hour, we are going to simulate the braking condition again and again and again uh, in the same way that uh, the industry standards are uh, programmed. While this happens, in the software we can monitor the velocity, the force that is applied, and important, the torque that is generated. Testing friction materials for brake applications using a full-scale dynamometer is an intensive testing method that requires to make the brake and pass coupons in their final shape. This method that we present here is a more rapid and cost-effective method that can be used to screen materials, not replacing the dynamometer, but being an excellent complementary technique that can help to speed up the development process.